I've seen more about vaping than I have tobacco and alcohol in years. Well, because you know vaping you is... You know who to blame for that. Well, you know... Uh, because you don't realize that... <laughs> Major minor. <laughs> as I hit my vape... Major minor. <laughs> as, I, oh. as I hit my vape... <laughs> I love that line. I love that line. Tonight's episode of Furry Frequencies is brought to you by Wawa. Enjoy Thanksgiving any day of the week with the Turkey Slop Bowl. Turkey gravy, mashed potatoes, stuffing, My and ass. cranberry sauce all together in a wonderful bowl. Hello and welcome to Furry Frequencies, the soundtrack to your furry life. I'm Lizzie and somebody is fiddling with their mic again and talking I'm breathing up our audio. and my microphone hates me, so please deal with it. This how is about, great. How about you just take your microphone this and is great. yeet it? Out this the is window. I want to, but this is my only microphone other than the one that's on my laptop. Get a headset, that's if what I, I do. If I breathe, it moves the wire a little <laughs> bit, and it gets upset with me. Oh, God. I will fight the microphone for you. Blow me. Just like I will fight Swifty. <laughs> Swifty? I do not like him. He knows what he did. <sighs> the movie's not even out yet. I don't care, it sucks. <laughs> Uh, lift, uh. <laughs> lift, whoa, whoa, you were about to say lifty. Mm. Uh, Silox here being Siskel and Ebert. I'm not, no, no, I'm, I'm, look, I said what I had to say last God episode. bless both those men. The movie sucks, Swifty's a little twink ass bitch, and if I find out where he lives, I'm gonna beat his ass. Well, if you watch the movie, you'll find out. Oh, fuck that, they just want my cash. <laughs> you may continue. So, anyway... I am Lifty, and joining us tonight is Silox. Hello, how's it going? And Sharky. Boobs. Boobs are okay. Yeah, boobs are great. So on so tonight's podcast, we're going to be talking... <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought here. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Want me to finish it for you? Yeah, go ahead, please. All right, so on tonight's podcast, we're going to be talking about popularity in the furry fandom. We're going to cover topics like what it means to be quote-unquote popular, um, clicks in the furry fandom, uh, basically how the furry fandom is set up like high school, more or less. We're also going to be looking at Twitter itself and how that contributes to popularity. So, let's define popularity, which is something that none, none of us are, actually. None of us are popular. We're nobody's in the furry fandom. Oh, my Nobody God. knows... Yeah, nobody knows who I am, nobody knows who Sharky is, and Lifty, LOL, nobody cares about him. So, um, shut up. Let's Thanks. Look at what, what? It's true. I'm sorry, did I stutter? Fuck you, That's Lifty. what I thought. Especially you, Lifty. Fuck you. Exactly. Yeah. No, he knows Suck what he my did. my dick. He's like Swifty, he knows exactly what he did. So. Popularity. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know why Google did that. I didn't even <laughs> click on it. Okay. Um, did you actually have Google read you the word? I didn't even click on the damn thing, and it just said it for me. That's really <laughs> scary, actually. I'm kind of concerned. Okay, popularity is a noun. The state or condition of being liked, admired, or supported by many people. Define any... many people. I, I don't know. What is Am a person? I... Are you serious right now? Where did Sharky go? Sharky's still here. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Well, tell him to say something. All right, guys, I'm Sharky. Hi, how's it going? Guns and stuff, pew, pew, pew. I like women and, and, and guns and, and pew, pew, pew. I'm Sharky. See, he's you, still here. You are such a faggot. I, what you call me? Fuck off. So, no, um, okay, so, in the fandom, there is this term, which is so cringy, and I hate when furries use it, but it's known as, was it, popufur? I think that's what it's called? Yeah. Um, so, first off, 
that's a stupid term. Please don't use that term. I, I will literally bitch slap anybody who says the word poppy fur. Just don't say it. The second of all, answer me, poppy fur. Ew. Like, like. This is my thing with when it comes to popular people in the fandom. Those people are normal people. They aren't any different than you and I. They just happen to have a lot of clout. That's mm-hmm. pretty much it. Other than that, I, I don't see why we put these people on a pedestal. Well, I can tell you I'm back. three things. Oh, I was oh dry. Sharky's back, I think. <laughs> Wait, was I just hearing Sharky? Yeah, that was that was. Oh, actually, there is he, there he is. That wasn't me. I was <laughs> dropped. I think my internet's trying to tell me something. Yeah, <sighs> get off of Verizon and get. I have Comcast. Oh, oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck, we. I do too. But yeah, um, I lost my train of thought again. Yeah, well, you know that's um. Oh yeah, so I've noticed there were three things that make Popufers popular. Mm-hmm. One is content, whether it's videos, whether it's animation, whether it's art, whether it's music. Content and propagating that content and pushing it out there, that makes someone very, very popular, very, very likable, especially if what you have is very, very good. <laughs> um, but we're going to talk about um, content later on in this podcast because we definitely want to talk about this one dude that just can't seem to get it. Content, a thing we don't have. <laughs> Way to burn our own podcast. Wow. Oh, hey, burn. man. They work. I I just... I, how could you do that? We need, to, we need to go into a burn ward now for that. That's not Ooh. nice. Yes. So the term um, from what so I another, can tell, so another so, uh, so another uh, thing I've noticed about popular furries is sometimes they have a great ass, um, and sometimes they show it off to you know say hey, it's open. Sex sells. Yeah, sex sells. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny. Um, I will sometimes go on ads just so I can. Do research, quote unquote, and I've noticed no, this. No, you're just there for the porn, not Maybe. research. Maybe you just want to so, look at someone's ass and or, be like, oh, or dick, or, or feet. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> shut up. Um, but no, uh, I've noticed this though. Some people have their normal furry account, and it has like what, like I don't know, 121 watchers on it. And it's like, oh, okay. I tap over to their AD. This one person had. 11,000 watchers on his AD. Send me a link to that AD. I want to check this out for science. Yeah, you, you're not old enough to look at that. Excuse so, me? I'm older than you. Doubt. Um, so, things like that, I, I, I don't get it. Like, if you want to sell your ass on Twitter, go for it. I, I just don't get it. Well, send, me that, send me that AD. Why? For research. Shut up. No. no. I'll send it to Sharky, not you. Because he's old enough. You're not old I wasn't enough. paying attention. What? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. I know. Were you talking and, about what you, porn? If you were, you were, sharing is caring. I will. I'm sharing a year older than you. This time. I'm 28. Going, I'm a year PM older than you. Shit. Don't share it in the chat. I want it all you're to third, myself. You're sufficient. But what's the third thing that you've noticed? Fuck, I forgot. So we have what? Great oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 great content. Mm-hmm. That's one. A great ass. Okay, that's two. <laughs> or I would say a it. great fursuit. Yes. <laughs> there you yes. go. Now, look, some people are going to be like, oh, that's not true. Fuck you. You and I both know it's true. Think yeah. about this. That's you look at... People that are lewd and sued. Yes. Look at all of the popular fursuiters. What do they all have in common? A nice fursuit. One that is easy on the eyes, or it is memorable. It's simple enough that people won't go overboard looking at it, but has enough in there that gets people's attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, look at... What's his name? Not Mori. Well, Mori doesn't... Does Mori do... Mori Mutt, does he do? 
Yeah, he stuff. does. He does do ludes. Okay. He he does ludes with his girlfriend, um, Jesse. He's hot. He's hot, but he won't hear this podcast, so that's okay. But yeah. um, yeah, he's hot. Um, Duke Doberman, classic example. His first suit is so memorable. Plus, he has a great ass, apparently. Not my. I've seen his ass. I can confirm it's a great ass. Yeah, he's never going to listen to this podcast, so I might as well just say it. You don't know that. I do know it. You do? Yeah. Have you talked to him about it? No. We should have him on. Okay, you go ahead. <laughs> but no, I mean, look, if that's what you want to do, I mean, if you, like I said, I get it. Some people want to show their ass on Twitter. Fine, that's cool. I'm not judging. My um, ass is too ugly. I have to show my dick. No, well, that's what I meant, but... Yeah, no, but that's... Even though it's not really a thing that I do. It's more like I just kind of stand there and just look at other people. I was cursed for both ends, so I don't show off either one. I don't mind showing off, but not for pe- not for not in AD. <clears throat> so, I mean, you showed it once, but for like five nanoseconds... And so oh yeah, he did. It and he like took, an asshole. Yeah, he's like, well, I don't want to share the round, bitch. Who's gonna share it around? Do you, Do you honestly think we're just gonna show it off? Like, hey guys, look at his dick. No, we're gonna save it and look at it later on. And then, but you know, why? To it. Usual shit. But why? Are you serious? Why else? I haven't saved your news? pics. It's to look at it. Oh, and I, I, I just I, no, no, I haven't. I, Are you serious? Honest to God, I have not saved anyone's. I I just so, look at them. I just look at them. I admire. Sometimes I, you know, like I will take five spam minutes. You with dick pic. Take five minutes. Take five minutes. <laughs> oh my god! It takes you that long. I take five minutes and uh, oh god! That's... I make sure that God isn't watching. Mm-hmm. Who? I can knock that shit out in two strokes. That's that's terrible. Bruh, I don't think he cares. <laughs> I really don't think he cares. He's got more important shit to worry about than what you oh, he cares. I, I'm a busy man. I don't have time to <laughs> He don't really care. As a former, around, you know. Not as a former Jesus. Catholic as a former Same. Catholic talking to another former Catholic, I think I think he knows. He, he must knows. Who, who's former Catholic? Both of us. Oh. He he must have seen a lot of people do the nasty. But anyway, um I don't want to uh, I'm thinking of a certain person that we like that we used to rag on. That person who I just typed. I saw a video of what he was doing, and that was nasty. Um, Send me that video. Yeah, because you want to see him do that. Yes. Why? You want to curse your eyes? Yes. This is You're... all for science. This is all for science. I'm gonna wear my. I'm gonna wear my goggles. Curse his eyes with what? I would, I... I'm gonna Look wear goggles. At what I... Look at what I typed in the uh, furry Yes, yes, I know, I know. I want to see this. No, I'm talking to Sharky. (laughs) He was actually... What in the furry frequency? Nothing. Dim. Oh, 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 you mean the podcast chat. Yeah, he he posted another vid. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, Uh, bruh. Imagine God looking at that. He's like, my God, what did I do? This was a mistake. (laughs) God hides in heaven because of this shit. Yeah. But, no, um, being back to Poppy Fur, um, so Poppy Fur can also have a negative con- connotation, in which case, popular implies one who is rich, famous, adored, and or otherwise noted in the fandom, but acts superior or indifferent to other members of the fandom, including their fans, uh-huh. to the point where they're even dismissive or derisive of the fandom as a whole. Um, that is a big stereotype of popular furries. Now, I'm not going to obviously name people because my mama taught me better than that. Um, there are some poppy furs out there who do act like that. Um, I know yep. one personally, and uh, I wish she wouldn't I act like also, that. Also, I also know someone like that. Yeah, and I wish he wouldn't act like that and take. I know plenty of people shit with for, go, and I for tell granted. them to go fuck themselves but, with a spoon. And they should. Like, I'm sorry, just because you have people who follow you doesn't make you you better than us. <laughs> just like, because a lot of people follow you? you and like you for your content doesn't mean the honest of God give two shits about you. 
Yeah. I just want to look at your ass. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much. And I, I... Look, look. It sucks to say that, but a lot of... No, it doesn't suck at all. It feels great. No, no. It's Think fantastic. It. It does. How dare you say it sucks? It's the truth. No, no, it, it sucks we have to say that, but a lot of these people will only like the popular furry for their content. They don't exactly like them. So That's the whole point. Like, yes. This is how it's always been. <laughs> it's not sad, it's the fucking truth. <sighs> I, 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 Just like famous people, like that, like in movies and shit. Don't give a fuck about them. They care about their character, not the fucking actors. Oh. Well, hold on now. Some, Unless they're looking for scandalous shit. Well, no. Well, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now. Because I can point you to a lot of desperate housewives who love ETV and all that Hollywood shit that goes on and they follow everything about the royal family and Kim Kardashian and all that shit. That's because they're looking for scandalous shit and because they do stupid shit. Oh, yeah. That's true. I see it now. Yeah, yeah. Let's be completely honest here. Uh, God, yeah. Also, fuck Kim Kardashian. I don't like her. Um, she's not going to listen to this podcast, so it's okay. Um, but no, no, I, I think that me personally, we need to stop. We need to stop putting people on pedestals in this fandom just because of who the fuck they are. Um, I, like I said before, I've said this on a lot of occasions. I don't care what you do. I don't care how popular you are. I don't care if you can draw well. I don't care if you're some YouTube celeb, some Tiki Talk celeb. Um, you are not better than me. You are not better than anyone in this fandom. And you need to understand that. And then also, a lot of people have been... I'm back. Okay, what's going on with their mics? Okay, my voice is better. Hi. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't me this time. Was... No, anyway. So I've heard some hot takes about people complaining about Poppy Furs <laughs> not talking to... Other poppy furs not 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 oh, doing. What's his not, face was doing that? Not responding. Not Close. responding to. Um, <laughs> not not responding to people's uh, DMs. Not pe- not responding to people's tweets. Blah blah blah. And the biggest thing I could say for this is that you got to treat these poppy furs. Don't treat them like a pet- like they're on a pedestal. Treat them like a normal person. If they yeah. want to talk to you, they they will talk to you. But if you treat them like, like you're, you know, gushing and fawning over them, talk because they're busy. They have lives. Yeah, they, they have do. lives. Exactly. They have lives. And um, but also they don't want to be treated like somebody, somebody that's you know that's this extra special, uh, this extra special unicorn that's passing through the town. They want to be treated like normal people, so talk to them like normal people and watch how well you communicate with others that way and how people will be more willing to talk to you if you just talk to them like a normal person. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, again, these people, they are human like us. They have their faults. They have their positives. They just want to be treated like normal people human beings yeah. a lot of them did not want this life <laughs> believe it or not a lot of them did not want to end up being you know famous yeah. on the internet yeah i know quite a few people that are like yeah i didn't want this shit it just fucking landed on me yeah, yeah. so just treat them like you would anybody else um yeah absolutely like don't please don't swarm these guys like at a convention Leave Do them not. Be. Yes, Leave them don't alone. swarm them. Say hi, say like, hi, but don't yeah. just follow them like a stalker. That's so weird. Like yeah, at Anthrocon, I saw people following. God, what's his face? And no, it's not Jip. Um, what's his face? Um. Uh, God, I'm I'm blanking on the name, but they were following this guy around. Um, and it's like. Guys, do you all have like a life? Like, leave him alone. I'm sure he doesn't want people around him 24 seven. Uh, beta, beta, beta. That's I start beta. swinging. Um, but yeah, it's like leave the guy in peace. But I honestly you know? tell people straight up, fuck off. I'm trying to hang out with my actual friend, not. You should just tell him fuck off. I'm trying to masturbate here. Oh, in public. <laughs> <laughs> Please, honestly, God, go up to someone and do that. 
Hey guys, sorry, I'm trying to do that in public. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey everyone, yeah. this is Majira. <laughs> oh god. Hi everyone, this is Majira. I'm masturbating, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that let me just say that video with Majira in it and little what's his name, little Pumper by Leo, is, yeah, is so, it's still fucking funny. Oh, God, <laughs> I I, yes. I love that shit. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> oh God, that but, was that yeah that video just makes me laugh every time I watch it. Oh goodness gracious! It does without fail. <laughs> but yeah, you know and. Again, I know some people will say, and going back to the whole fursuit of thing, um, I know it sucks, and I know this is something that's not really talked about a lot. Um, it's sort of like hush-hush for a reason. But having a fursuit does kind of endow you. It does put you much higher up on the food. Yes, it does do that. And I know people who want to get fursuits just for that reason. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fursuit just to be popular. Now, yes, I'm People not saying... People aren't going to hang around with you. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. This is America. Don't catch you slipping. Do what you want to do. Unless you're not in America, then, you know, you can't fuck. That actually sounds kind of ethnocentric. I shouldn't say this is America. Okay, screw that. We're all... We're, we live in a society. Fuck, that sounds really stupid. Okay. Now we're all going to shoot each other. Yes, we live. That, that's some Joker shit. Okay, we live on a planet, hurling well, around the sun. All these jokers. <laughs> okay, there's eight billion of us. Do what we you want to do. Each other. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're getting a fur suit for popularity reasons, don't. Please don't. I got my fur suit because I legitimately enjoyed that when I first saw one, and I was like, you know what? It might help me be more um, open and more um, able to be confident in myself and express myself in a way that I would, couldn't at the, at the time, that's why I got one. It was never to be popular. Honest to God, I don't like being called a quote-unquote popufer. I, I don't want that. That's It's just not for me. Everyone go um, up to Silox and call him popufer and then bother the hell out of him. All right? Just because I run my state's group or have 1200 or so followers on twitter don't mean shit wow what did a flex there I, huh? i'm not flexing no i've well, had just people... because you know i got a couple of thousand followers <laughs> i'm not mean, flexing I'm famous, you know we Fuck got you. More followers i'm not flexing <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all like i ain't flexing, flexing. Like <laughs> i am not flexing i'm just saying i i just got you know <laughs> Uh, it's not popular, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at my TikTok. Ah, oh, twelve thousand. But you know, let's. It's uh, not about uh, me, guys. As I tell my stats. Uh, you know. uh, Sixteen hundred on FA. But look, it ain't about me. It's, it's about just, you all. Just, you know. Well, just together, guys. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Good lord. Um. But like, you but no, yourself there. I did. I did. But but seriously, I I don't like the whole poppy fur thing being lobbed at me. I, I don't like the term in general. I'm just here to make friends. Feel. Yeah, I know. I'm just here to make friends, man. I'm I'm on about being a being fucking getting a fucking fan club about me. I don't want that shit. I really don't. Because the, the what people don't realize is, and we'll wrap this up, move on to the next topic. But what people don't realize is, the people who are popular. They get scrutinized for every single thing that they do. Mm -hmm. They have to walk on eggshells and put forth a watered-down persona on Twitter. Like, people don't realize that. Like, when you're famous, people pay attention to you. And I'm not talking about e-famous. I mean famous in general. People pay attention to every single thing that you do. They if want you, scandalizing. Yes. TMZ exists for a reason because they want to find dirt on people because they and know famous it, people will say stupid like, shit. Oh, it's going to destroy your popularity. Exactly. That's Even why TMZ it's not exists. Really do shit to them, but what I love is people are like, "Oh, I got dirt that you're having sex." Yes, I'm human. So it's like, why would you want that? Like, I 
don't know how Majira feels, honestly. Because I'm sure he has to walk on eggshells mm-hmm. a no, lot on social what media. I, I have a counter for anyone that tries to get dirt on me. I just admit it outright. I'm like, yeah, I'm human. I got fucking quirks. What are you going to do about it? I mean, look, even me. I've cleaned if up my you Twitter. use the animation <laughs> they try to use against them, you know, that, that it's not much anyone can do to you, but... Well, if you care so much about your popularity that you have to walk on eggshells, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this kind of um, segues us into another unfortunate thing about the fandom. Clicks. God, clicks. So There's quite a few of them. Yeah, it, it, and you know what? It, it's really reminiscent. Just like the click on my dick! <laughs> click on my dick. Click on my dick. That sounds like a rap album that I would that never really listen does. to. It sounds like a gay rap album. Yeah, Lil Nas X. I mean, there's already "Slob on My Ass," which was actually a pretty good fucking rap song. By the way, I love Lil Nas X, but yeah, no, click on my dick. Um, have you guys heard "Slob on My Ass"? <laughs> it's Lifty a has. Uh, like a parody of "Slob on My Knob," but it's made by this gay rapper who actually got quite popular because of the song. It's gotten pretty good reviews. Excuse me, what? Young KSB X Slob. Oh my god. Slob on my ass. Wait. Yes, I've seen this video before. That shit was lit. It was fucking <laughs> I good. love that video. Dylan. Dylan is on the cutting edge of gay rap. Bruh, the intro has me rolling. <laughs> Lifty, have you, have you seen that? Uh, heard that song? <laughs> Oh my god! My I think I have. I think Silox. Somebody oh. sent it to me, and then I think I sent this. I think I sent it to Silox, and he was just like rolling on the floor laughing. I could tell. It's a good song. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> he says, "Eat a nigga's ass." <laughs> At the beginning. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I just want to say, I love how inclusive rap is becoming, because you could have fucking amazing shit like this. <laughs> Brock Hampton Wildin'. <laughs> Can you imagine if rap was like this during Easy E's oh, time? Oh my lord. <laughs> it's the fact that these guys don't show any fucking, like, fuck oh, given to what wow. people would think. I love this. But remember the beef between Easy E and uh, who was it, um, Doctor Dre? Not gonna lie, those these guys can twerk like hella good. <laughs> Dwight Howard like, got this on repeat. <laughs> I'll be honest here; these guys can twerk really well, and they do have. <laughs> who the, the hell is Dwight Howard? Fortitude to actually. He's an do NBA it. player who people assume he's gay, but he's not. But no, um, <laughs> going back to. <laughs> That song is fucking amazing. But going back to clicks, um, I where they got their pants, though. I like that see-through pants. Though. Of course, she was. <laughs> Good Lord. Like seriously, I, I want to know where they got these pants. Like I just want to walk H and M pants on one day and be like, hey. <laughs> America first. With oh god, let me. I don't want to see that shit. Go away, please. America, what now? Why is this? In, I got a Trump ad. I don't want to see that shit. Oh my god. He's so desperate. Never mind. Let me... No, 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 no. Too nope. desperate. Nope. Not going there. Not touching that. Okay. But going back to clicks real quick. Th- th- there are so many clicks in the furry fandom. And it goes back to what... It was Clace, I think, who made that point on Twitter. It was like, well, you know, poppy furs don't talk to me. And I don't know why they don't talk to me. And I want to talk to poppy furs. If poppy fur seems rude during a convention, it's probably because they don't want to deal with your shit right now. Yeah, and they just want to fucking you relax. Know. And yeah, they're be with their friends. The they're hanging out with their friends, their actual friends. They're relaxing and you know doing their shit. Yeah. I know I'd be fucking rude as shit. If someone just came up to me and just tried to like, I guess, <laughs> insert themselves into, you know, an oh, know actual like friend that. group. Gibson. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> he doubled us to that. Um, 
So a clique is a group of individuals who interact with one another and share similar interests. Interacting with cliques is a part of normative social development, regardless of gender, ethnicity, or popularity. So pretty much everybody has a clique. I don't care who you are, you have a clique. I have a clique. Sharky has a clique. Lithy has a clique. I'm pretty sure our cliques click overlap. This dick. Yeah, ours overlap <laughs> a lot. Click this dick. <laughs> click this dick. Um, I'm gonna tweet that out. But yeah, and by the way, Sharky hash clash, click it's this it's dick. it's funny Do that, that for me because I'm lazy. It's funny that Clays is complaining about this when he has what twelve thousand followers on Twitter. It's like, bro, do you not realize how ironic that is that you're complaining about this? Like. Sit down before you're you more strip. famous for complaining than you are actually putting yeah. out your art. I'm sorry. What what what's he famous for? That's what, that's what I thought. I don't he, know. He's he's famous for making a, a furry video game. Now he's no longer famous. He's infamous. Uh, was, infamous was it major minor? <laughs> Good lord. I infamous is the opposite of fame. Major so minor. What the hell is that? For a negative. It's a furry video game. It's so trash. <laughs> Don't, I'm gonna show it to you, but wait, it's such wait, a trash. What video game are you talking about? Major oh, uh, Minor. <laughs> it's major a tr- minor? it's a trash furry video game. It pretty much is. I'm gonna Google this yeah. right now. I thought it was just one of those fanfic kind of games. No, no, it is a a furry made it. I forgot who made it. Um, but yeah, a furry made it. Um. Oh, tall tail. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that was beautiful. Oh, you know this the same furry tried to make this one video game, or he tried to he tried to he tried to scrape up um, um, donations to go to BronyCon to talk about this. Oh yeah, True Tail, and um, I think it's this. I think it's the same. That was Clace. Holy shit. So that was Clace. Oh, it yeah. is Clace. <laughs> so he did make Major Minor. Okay. Oh my yeah. god. So you just trashed Clace without even knowing you're fuck. trashing Clace. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. Look, my thing is this. We say what we say without <laughs> exactly. any knowledge of what the fuck we're doing. Exactly. I'm a product of the American education system. I can't. Oh, God. Oh. I know. You're gonna have... well, I, used to, I used to teach there, too, so I can say that. It's okay. Somebody, Somebody's going to afford this... This episode to Clace, and then oh god, his he's gonna retweet it, and then he's gonna, <laughs> and then all you're gonna see the swarm of twelve thousand followers just constantly, just, yeah, just reading at us and just trashing us and shitting on us. Honestly, I would take that over what happened a couple of weeks ago. I would yeah, take because, that. Yeah, because yeah, because was... Salox, do you have a do you have a do you have a shit fetish? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I know someone who does. You told me you wanted me to take a dump on you earlier. Uh, no, I never did. Okay. I'm not into that. We we all know someone who, the same person actually, who has a shit Yeah, fetish. unfortunately. He who will not be named on this episode. But, hey, yeah. Hey, you in your fucking car. <laughs> I'm actually... <laughs> Good lord, um, I have to tell that story on this epi- on this on the podcast one of these days. Maybe oh, on a Halloween yeah. episode because that's a horror story. Yeah. That that. That's <clears throat> Actually, not a horror story. That's a literal piss show. You know what we should do for Halloween on this podcast? Tell furry horror first stories. Suit, first fursuit horror stories. And furry. I know plenty of horror stories. Yes. I am yes. one. <laughs> that is actually a great idea. <clears throat> but, but yeah, you know. Okay, so clicks exist. I get it. I don't like that they exist. And you know what? Honestly, it sucks. Like you see someone you generally want to get to know, but you can't because they don't want to hang I'm out with sorry, you. Sorry, I can't associate you because you. you only have you have four <coughs> fingers instead of five. And you oh, know God. we have clicks locally in this area. There are clicks. Not in Maryland. Better. I can't associate um, you because you're eleven five instead of six. <laughs> Maybe in for Northern Virginia, but not in Maryland. I, I don't think we have any clicks here for for furries. If There's we do, so many I don't clicks know about here them. in Maryland. It's God damn it! Fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah, they exist. I I try not to get a part of that. I try to be open to my detriment. Oh, I'm open as hell, but apparently people don't but... like that I'm open and don't give a fuck about their little uh, thing that got going on. So I'm pretty much disowned. Yeah, yeah, no, they they. And it sucks, and you know this. I'm like, very blunt and straightforward, and my humor apparently is too. Uh, you are insensitive, which the, my humor is based upon upon what's happening in today's society, 
So it's very dark humor. Good yeah. Lord. But that's the point of dark humor is to laugh about shit and turn a negative into a positive, even if it's just about making people laugh. But also, Sharky, do you feel like you are being ostracized because of your mil- uh, excuse me military service? Oh, all the time. It's not even in the furry fandom that that shit happens, but it's fucking whatever. People can have their fucking opinions. I fought for their fucking right to have to do so. Yeah. Here yes. in yes. the United States, that is. Mm-hmm. If you're a soldier in another respective country, I, I got fucking respect for you fighting for your own uh, rights in your own country. But it's just fucking whatever. I mean, if you're a cop, uh, military, fire, EMT, whatever, people are going to be like, oh, ACAB or... Oh, you're baby murderers or some other shit. Yeah. It's really just they haven't seen the world for what it truly is. and I mean, it's good and bad. It means at least I've done my job, but it means I've done it too well. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but no, this... Have this... you not seen this shit at cons? Oh, we talked about that. We've we've talked about it a lot actually, how the one fursuiter who was wearing um law enforcement um gear was trashed on Twitter. Well, my good friend, uh, who has a suit and everything, I'm sure you guys know him. I'll uh let's see if I can find him. I'll type his name out. And, uh... Is it the Fox guy? Yeah. Okay, him. Yeah. Wait, Hem's Fox or is that? Who no, you're talking about? no. I can't. I always mispronounce his name. Uh, I'll I'll, I'll type Fox. his name out in uh the thing. He has a nice car, by the way. I think he, I forgot which car he drives. He brought it to FAU one year, and I saw it. I'm like, damn, you drive that car, dude? It's, like, really nice. But getting back to, I yeah, that guy. Name. Yeah, I can never. Cool I was mis- fuck, dude. I drank, drank I, with him. Oh, Fox. Mis- yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, always yeah, mispronounce his name. I love this guy to death. <laughs> yeah. I meet him at cons whenever I can, and he runs around. And a police, a little, you know, makes you a police uniform, which isn't based on any actual police department. Mm-hmm. Be aware if you do. Well, usually it's, an it's, officer, it's, uh, you Z- can't base Zootopia. it on an actual police department that is illegal. Well, it's usually Zootopia police department that he, that he cosplays as. Yes. Since it's a, a, a fictional, like, you know, it's not a real police department, you can run around and do that. You cannot ever dress up as an actual police officer in the police department because that is illegal. Yes, yeah. please don't do that, guys. You, you will, will be arrested. arrested for impersonating a police officer. The big no-no. Yeah, but anyway, he runs say. around in his Zootopia fucking uniform. He's cool as fuck. Hey, remember, uh, didn't we see him at, um... What was it? Uh, Anthrocon, right? Yeah. We all met up with him. He's hanging out with a bunch of other people and they all arrested everyone and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They and arrested he, and my buddy said... uh, Nork, and he, they quite literally dragged him away to a corner. And it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> they gave him a paper. It was like oh, a God. ticket, and he got yeah. like, a woo charge. Yeah, I got an a woo violation. Yeah, he, he got charged two hundred and fifty for an a woo violation. <laughs> three, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. Like they had cards and everything. It was awesome. But yeah, there are people out there that are just like, oh, they're all evil because one person fucked up and now everyone has to be labeled as this. I've seen more about vaping than I have tobacco and alcohol in years. Well, because you know who to blame. vaping you is... You know who to blame for that. Well, you know... Uh, and because and I don't realize that... <laughs> Major minor. <laughs> as I hit my vape. Major minor. <laughs> as, I, oh. as I hit my vape. <laughs> Yeah. Skewing Major. from this. I love movie. that line. I love Who that else line. Is laughing at the fact that people are freaking over about only six deaths for vape, and they're not worried about alcohol nor tobacco. These people that did die got their shit off the street, which means it wasn't actual, you know, FDA approved fucking shit that you buy in stores. No, they bought this shit off the street from some guy in the corner who sells it much cheaper. Me. And they, they're surprised that it ends up having nasty chemicals such as DEET in it. DEET, if you guys don't know, is basically a nerve agent for insects. Oh my god. Yeah, so. Damn, Blizz. Jesus. It should be more like, hey, we should stop people from selling, eat, like, you know, vapes off the street. His girlfriend, hot. Instead of stopping vapes in general. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, in Maryland. They're raising the minimum smoking age to 21. 
Yeah, so anything yeah, with nicotine I, in I, it, I you nothing. have to be 21 and older. I honestly have no problem with that. People shouldn't be smoking I mean, no cigarettes one should, anyway. But here's the thing. The only people that have this exception, exception just like military personnel when it comes to alcohol, well, is military personnel or firefighters, people that actually do a legitimate service. Those guys have an exception when it comes to these rules, just like with alcohol. Because if you're going to sign up and do a job that literally puts your life on the line every day, they're like, yeah, you, you can get drunk. Fuck it, man. Go on ahead. Yeah. How do you guys feel about this? Well, I'll tell you why vaping is, 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 on, is in the spotlight right now. It's because for years, vaping has been like the it thing. It's been a fad. And a lot of young people have been catching on to vaping instead of smoking or, or whatever. And not a lot of people know about vaping or not a lot of people they know what like they're vaping. Because it's a vape, they think it's completely safe, but they don't realize and it actually says on the box. Like I got my box right here. And a giant label that takes up almost the whole box. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. They, it says this is a fruit-flavored e-liquid for vaping. It's a proper e-fluid made mm -hmm. by a company and only contains like, uh, what is it? Uh, da 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 This <laughs> trace amounts of uh, this product. I'm trying to find where it actually says what it's actually made of. So, USP grade vegetable glycerin, uh, food grade flavor ash extract, USA source USP grade nicotine. This is a proper vape fluid bought from an actual dealership that will actually give you shit. This shit right here that I just described, the ingredients are not harmful, except for nicotine, uh -huh. which is addictive, which has a giant label going all across the whole entire package saying that nicotine is fucking addictive. Given out by the fucking Jordan, uh, by the uh, Surgeon General saying, hey, this shit is, uh, you know, not good for you if you're pregnant and shit like that. Yeah, but at the same time, back when vaping came out, not many people knew what was in vaping or what people were actually vaping in their lungs. They just saw people, you know, sucking on this really weird robotic penis and blowing out a puff of smoke. <laughs> I, I, I like how we it went from was, it, our regular it, scheduled topic to vaping. I like a that. giant warning on here. Warning contains nicotine, which can be poison. If you guys know the difference between poison and venom, poison is you have to ingest it. You have to swallow it, not inhale it. It's poison. It's avoid contact with skin and eyes. Well, that's just any chemical, really. Do not drink. For love of fuck, don't drink nicotine fucking e-liquids. Please. Oh God, no. no. You the... will die. Nicotine is poisonous. Yeah, the LD... Which means inhaling the, it is completely The lethal safe. dose, the, lo the lethal dose for nicotine is ridiculously low. Like, it, it, it's... Nicotine... It's it's amazing that you can that you can inhale it in 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 a cigarette and not die. But if you if you take if you take it's just because when like, you inhale it, you're not ingesting. You're yeah. Inhaling it, so yeah. it's safe. It's absorbed in the body in a very slow manner. When you ingest it, uh -huh. it's poisonous. It's rapidly rapidly absorbed into the body, uh -huh. and it's spread and it doesn't instantly take, across everything. And it doesn't take a lot. Your liver and kidney. For an for an average man, it doesn't take a lot of nicotine for to for an average man to die I'm gonna from nicotine poisoning. look up right now. Poisoning. What's the lethal dose of nicotine? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, it's gonna be really fucking small. It's gonna be like just a few micrograms. It's really really small. <laughs> First thing that pops up: What is a lethal dose of caffeine? <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. The lethal dose of low. caffeine. It's, caffeine is pretty low as well. Let's be honest here. Caffeine no, no, no. Caffeine. For you. No, caffeine has a very high lethal dose. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta consume a lot of caffeine <laughs> for you to die from it. Okay, I mean, it, let's see. It, it, it will, it will speed up your heart rate CDC, long before you get there. But according to WebMD, 
WebMD is actually a really useful source if you know what the fuck you're looking you for. You are already well. dead. <laughs> Nani? Yeah. WebMD <laughs> is a legitimate source. That's the cool thing about WebMD. But a lot of people try to look up symptoms and realize a lot of symptoms are very spread across, you know, deadly and non-deadly disease. So, it's great for looking up specific things. Nicotine. It, which keeps smoking or smoking is a chemical found in tobacco leaves, yada yada. Okay, CDC says around 50 to 60 milligrams of nicotine is a deadly dose for an adult who weighs around 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's very, very low. Yeah, extremely low. Like, this right here, this thing I'm holding right now, mm -hmm. this full bottle, which is a 30 milliliter bottle, in total contains 50 milligrams. Which is a very, very high thing of nicotine. But that's just because I became addicted to nicotine when I started smoking cigarettes. That's why I switched to this vape because it's, let's be honest here, it's a lot better than smoking cigarettes, which has cat piss in it. I mean, yeah, it kind of does. No, it literally has chemicals found in cat piss, dog shit, uh. human feces as well. That's disgusting. Yeah, that, so that's... this whole entire thing, this whole 30 milliliter bottle, which is not a small bottle, if you guys know how to do math, contains 50 milligrams. Which means if I smoke this whole entire 30 milligram bottle, which is fucking impossible by the way, that would give me a lethal dose. And this gives people a good nicotine high from a few hits. Now imagine what I can't imagine what a fifty milligram dose does. That man, <laughs> fucking that would suck. That would be a very slow and painful death. Yeah. Yeah, and ugh. So it says here, you're not likely to overdose with nicotine from just smoking. Your body only absorbs about one tenth of the nicotine in a cigarette. It's mm -hmm. About one milligram, and yeah. that, dude, that is enough to get you a really good buzz if you've never smoked before uh -huh. yeah. that's one milligram overdosing from a nicotine gum or patch is rare but it's possible you don't follow the instructions carefully and that's with any drug mm -hmm. so yeah don't <laughs> follow the instructions on a bottle when it comes to nicotine gum because just like any drug Wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys, guys. You, you will overdose God, on it. God, the Nationals are just I'm glad on the that cards we're giving right out now. a PDA for vaping and smoking right now. This is fucking useful. Are we doing the vape okay, episode tonight? Okay, e-cigarettes. E I mean, I, I think we are. Companies, not, not vapes, So this is e the vape episode. I think so. We you need guys to talk know the difference like between e-cigarettes e and vape, this right? This is the vape sound. <laughs> this is guys. the sound of the vape. Guys. We're listening. Guys. Yes. Sharky. You gotta talk like this. You're not this. responding to me. Because you I'm talk listening. Like this. You're listening, but Lifty's trying to do ASMR and it's too ugly for it. <laughs> Shut up! He is? He is? Well, we know that. <laughs> you yeah, just you ruined my cool. Shut up, Lifty. <laughs> God but damn it. It's, it's, you were never e cool. You were like a bitch. If you guys know the difference between an e cigarette and a vape, an e cigarette is a cigarette usually made by big cigarette companies, so they use the same chemicals used the, big in cigarettes. Tobacco. So it's fucking bad. E vape, <laughs> which is the chemicals and uh, ingredients I named off uh -huh. they're different because of the fact that you have to buy the you know liquid separately hmm. but what's dangerous about vapes in general is how they make the vape they use a heating coil to heat up cotton which is soaked in this liquid and the problem with that is you're going to get heavy metals in your system yeah which is dangerous. So I'm not saying vapes are better, like largely better than cigarettes. I'm just saying they're better in the case of it's a lot easier to quit on a vape and slowly down your nicotine rate than it is on a cigarette, which you can't control. Yeah. So what were we talking about before we started talking about the vape? Yeah. So I don't know, but this was a good talk. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not shitting on you about. 
talk about I, vaping because this is a great yeah no this is a great topic no, to talk about fine. especially since how many as little as one teaspoon of liquid nicotine can be fatal to the average twenty six pound toddler. How many? Oh God! How many furries have you seen vaping? Oh, plenty. All yeah, I, absolutely. Hell, even uh, nitro vapes. Yeah, I know. I mean, it, vaping has taken off in the furry community, and sometimes we're we're just you know sucking on that robotic penis, thinking, yeah, this is safer than cat than sucking on those sin sticks. Well, I'm vaping right now, sucking on Are that. Are you vape seriously pee. vaping right now? This he is the vape is. episode of Furry is Frequencies. Just like blowing what? Like sucking a nicotine dick. I mean, if you want it to be, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed uh, what you were listening to on our podcast, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on our episode. And, you know, if you comment on our episodes, we may read them on air. So, yeah, we love we love reading comments. But also, comment. sometimes they do. Like, well, once in a blue moon, they, they, they do. And unfortunately, right now, the moon is um, orange, so it's not blue. So nobody's going to comment. My bad. Yeah. So, like, you should, like, blot the moon with your ass. Moon the moon. Or how about we get a thousand arrows that will blot out the sun so we can fight in the shade? No, all we have to do is just... Please just... tell me you got that reference. No. Are and you it... fucking with me? No, we can. What we could do is I we could fire do. those thousand arrows in the dark, Bruh. because that's when that's when that's when the sun is off. Have you seen three hundred? No. What? That's what it. Oh my God, you're such a dumbass. You have not seen three hundred. I fell asleep after the. Oh. Here he goes. Of course. <laughs> I fell asleep after the 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 slow motion like stretched a thirty second scene into two and a half hours. Oh God! That's okay. exactly what three hundred is. It's an inaccurate representation of a real life battle, but yes, yes. And uh, and I'm I'm even less interested in it <laughs> because I'm a history buff. Uh, okay. I want my history to be accurate. All right, well, watch Saving Private Ryan then, or whatever. I don't know. Oh, that is a beautiful movie. Don't that you is... dare shit talk about that I movie. I will never shit talk that movie ever. It's one of the few movies I will never shit talk. Okay. That and Avengers Endgame, but that's a different story. I never watched that because you're a loser. But continue. Quiet, be quiet, you. What? Continue um, letting the people know about where they can find us on social media. And also, um, if you like our shenanigans, feel free to follow us on Twitter for the latest shenanigans and for new episodes. And uh, our Twitter is at Furry Frequency. So just so you can find us on Twitter. And uh, feel free to tweet at us, and we may read your tweets. We may respond to your tweets. Uh, we're not going to read your fan fictions, no. Aw, I want to read the fan fictions. About who they Okay, ship. Silox will be the designated reader. Yeah, I want to see who you all ship us with. That'd be interesting. Schlifty is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that the isn't that the dude that you hate on that one movie? That's Swifty. Schlifty is my ship. Do you know how ships work? Yeah, Do there's a sail and there's a rudder. That's and... not a ship. Yeah, that's a ship. That's an Okay, I'm going to explain to you what a real ship is after this is over. Good lord. Okay, some of them are steamships, okay? They're, I, they're... Who can't... Fuck steamships, bro. Diesel. Diesel. Fuck diesel We're, ships, too. Like, we have... Like, the triple E... The triple oh E God. class of Marsk Line is the Please largest container ships in the world. Please kill me. Go jack off on your ham radio or something. Good lord. Anyway... No. Anyway, this has been a hot minute, so we're going to sign off now. Um, this has been Furry Frequencies, the soundtrack to your furry life, and we wish you all a great evening and a great start to your Tuesday. I'm Silox. This is Lifty. And Sharky. Good night, South Ossetia. Which Excuse is a real country, me, by the way. That is not a country. Fuck you, it's a real country. <sighs> Good night, Amsterdam, Netherlands. That's a city, but not a country. The Netherlands is a country. I know. I said Amsterdam's a fucking city. 
Amsterdam is a city. They got some good weed there. Not that I would know. I'm just saying they got. Weed. I I want some stroopwafel. We should have got some at fucking Whole Foods. For 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 those of you who are listening to our podcast from the Netherlands, please feel free to send me stroop waffles, and I will send you a T-shirt or something. Send them dick pics. That too. That too. To share with the rest of us. Yeah. We're all nothing but sluts. Speak for yourself, man. I'm not a slut. I'm wholesome. You're a slut. I don't. I don't put it out there. Fuck my dick. No comment. <laughs> And it just goes on and on like this. Yeah. All right. All right. This is what I do to bother everyone. Once again, I'm pressing stop record, and it's taking its sweet time. Yeah. I'm yeah. pressing it, too. Why are you pressing it? That's weird. Oh. I'm pressing the stop record so I can go and masturbate. I'm, it, oh, it's, it, the thing's spinning now. Here it goes. Still spinning. Still spinning. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? Snort some cocaine? I mean, what? Yes, yes, yes. I- I'm going to snort some cocaine. You better hook cocaine. me up with that good shit. <laughs>